I'm afraid of leaning against the alleyway wall. Sitting on the ground with his latest prey's head resting on his lap. A young, beautiful blonde woman whose lifeless eyes now stared off into the distance. Even after sucking almost a third of her blood, he still didn't have enough strength to stand back up. The saltzner had taken more energy than he gained, and now he found himself weaker than ever. He looked up into the night sky, his home for the last thousand years. His eyes fell back to the ground. The night once offered him secrecy, like a warm blanket. Now he sat there, feeling exposed, betrayed by his once protector. There was a very limited amount of time to gorge on fresh meat before it became first impalpable, and then downright poisonous. He only had minutes left to take any more blood from her before he no longer had the option. He was full. If he took any more, he would throw it back up. But he had no choice. He couldn't even stand. Feeding on her cold, lifeless body, Alfreda groaned. It was like drinking thick, muddy water. Never had he sunk this low throughout his entire existence. His legs were still wobbly as he pushed the corpse off, and with the help of the wall, stood. As he tottered down the alleyway, away from his victim, he reflected on how far he had fallen. He was born a vampire, a rarity, and because of that, he was a prince. A prince, he whispered. Through the centuries, he had conquered, loved, and had been worshipped by thousands of other vampires. Yet now, he was the last. He had always thought of himself, along with the others, as immortal. But when the first human killed one of the purebloods, a born vampire, they learned quickly that they were indeed mortal after all. The effect was devastating. When a pure blood was killed, all the vampires that he or she had turned began to age like any other mortal, and eventually would die of old age. If they didn't die by any other means, of course. Then, the centuries passed, and there were no new pure bloods born. They had tried everything. Pure bloods only copulated with each other in an attempt to keep the bloodlines pure. And when technology evolved, they tried artificial means, but without effect. Time itself became a plague that over time killed them all. Well, all but me, he thought, almost with the safety of his car. Suddenly, his legs gave out and he fell to the ground, hitting his head. The car, only a few yards away, became blurry, and then disappeared as he passed out. He woke with a jolt. His entire body ached. Oh, shit, he said out loud, seeing the night was ending. He began to crawl as fast as his weak body would let him. Just one more yard, he thought, when suddenly his hand burst into flames as the first light from the sun touched him. A line of light now blocked his way to the car. He retreated into the alleyway, knowing only to be a temporary reprieve. Soon, the sun would flood in, and even the shadows wouldn't be able to save him. If, by chance, he was able to avoid the searing sun, he was still only yards away from a dead body that would soon be discovered. Feeling as if he had failed everyone he had ever known, he wept and he was still weeping as the sunlight swept over him, turning him to ash to be carried away by a gentle morning breeze.